A mirror number is a number that comes at the end of its cube. Hello and welcome to Knowledge Circle everyone. In this video, we'll make a Java program and where we will check whether the input number is mirror number or not. So for this, we'll open BlueJ and uh, now we'll create a new class here with the name mirror and then we will click OK. Now we'll double click on the class the code window gets open. Now we'll begin writing the program. The very first line import java.util.scanner. This is the statement to import the scanner class of util package to take input from user. Now we will mention the class name that is mirror. Then we'll write main function public static void main. After the creation of main function, the scope of the main function begins. Inside the main function, First of all, we'll create the object of scanner class so that we can take input from user. Okay, after the creation of the object of scanner class, we'll declare some variable here, integer type variable, and for the number taken from user. And then here we will have NOD, number of digits. In this program, we need to determine the number of digit. Our logic depends on number of digits so we will calculate number of digits then we have taken here num for making a, the copy of the number and cube for storing the cube of the number now we'll provide a message using println method enter a number okay enter a positive number then after we have to write the input statement so n equal to ob dot next ante just after taking input from user we'll make the copy of it and the cube of it so the copy of n will be stored in num so here we have given a small single line comment copy of the number and then the cube of the number we will store in the variable cube by multiplying n into n into n now after doing this we will begin while loop because we have to count number of digits so the loop runs till the value of num is not zero okay so what is the purpose of running a loop here the purpose of running a loop is to count number of digit let's go for the logic if the number is not equal to zero it means we have to increase the value of nod by one so we need to provide an initial value to nod so we will give zero now nod plus plus divide the number by 10 and close the loop so in this way when the loop gets over we will get number of digit present in the number now the most important logic is here that we have to check whether the number given by user comes at the end of its cube or not so we have already got its cube so we will compare the original number and we will find whether it comes to the end to find it whether it comes to the end or not what we will do we will write the number that is what stored in cube and then we will use modulus operator to find the remainder okay so cube modulus and here why we are, we are putting int explicit type conversion so that uh, we know that math.pow method gives us value in double so that's why we have converted into integer so math.pow the first argument that is 10 and nod 10 to the power 2 it may be 10 to the power 1 it may be 10 to the power 3 suppose the number is 24 then it is of two digit so 10 to the power 2 for that purpose we have done we have to find the remainder okay and if the remainder and the original number is equal then it is a mirror number else what we have to write it's not a mirror number okay so I will just copy this message and I'll paste here and I'll modify it not a mirror number after this we'll close the main and then we will close the class we'll go for compilation process and file saved class compiled no syntax error now we will go for what we have to run the program right click on the class click on void main now the terminal window gets open enter a positive number let's enter here 24 okay press enter it's a mirror number now let's re-execute the program with a different value right click void main let's enter 12 which is not a mirror number and see the output not a mirror number now we'll provide 
49 here it's a mirror number 